we were speaking about Sadaqah. The miswa of giving Sadaqah, of course, is a very great miswa. But <coughs> it's important to know <coughs> it's important to know that giving Sadaqah does not mean just giving money to anybody who asks for it. <coughs> we find in the Talmud, like here it's, I'm quoting it from Bava Bathra in the Talmud Bavli Dav Taitamud Beth at the bottom. It also appears in Bava Kama. It says <coughs> the Pasuk that's being quoted by the Talmud is in Yirmiyahu, as I said. Yirmiyahu Yod Hev Kav Gimel Wa Atal Unai Yod Ata At Kol Asatam Olai Lamaweth. You know Hashem how they plot to kill me. Do not uh, wipe away, do not allow their sins to be erased and hidden. And, and, and cause them to be uh, cause them to even when they're to do the wrong thing and to, to fall down, to, to uh, stumble. And Rashi says, You mukhshalim lefanecha, et anshe anathoth, the people of Anathoth, where Yirmiyahu came from. Hayam mekhalel, he was cursing them. Why? Shayum vakshim nafsho, because they were plotting against him, and, and in fact, pl- plotting his death. So, what does the Talmud say on this pasuk? Amar Yirmiyahu. Even when they are overcoming their yesa hara and trying to do a positive action, such as giving sadaqah, cause them to their downfall and cause them to stumble and to do the wrong thing. How can you do the wrong thing by giving tzedakah? By giving it to people who are not worthy, who are not fit uh, recipients of, of tzedakah. So they will not receive sakhar, reward, even for giving tzedakah. In other words, vada'i, you should punish them and cause their downfall when they try to do the bad, bad things. But even when they do try and do good things, Yirmiyahu says, Hakshilem, cause them much to stumble even when they try to do the right thing, cause them to fall to, to their downfall. And the Rama with the hay, Rabbi Meir Halewi Abu Lafia from Spain, from Svarad, from Toledo, one of the very major great, great Rishonim of. of uh, <coughs> He writes as follows on this, he says, Ushma'inan mina, and we hear, we understand from this. Ledivrei akol, according to everybody. There's no mahloket about this. Dahai man di ahed sadaka livnei adam shenam uhukanim. He who gives sadaka to people who are unworthy and improper recipients of sadaka, lo sadakahi. It's not sadaka bichla. That's now that's that's beforehand that he's giving to them. The well, obviously, if if you know beforehand, yes, or that you have re- good reason to think so. But in other words, you need to. Ha- what really that we understand from this is that you have good. You have to have very good reason to think that you're giving it to the right kind of person. Somebody who had who had intention to get tzedakah and he thought that he was ra'oi ba'agun, and it turns that he's oh. not. He doesn't get the mitzvah tzedakah. All right. Well, that's a, uh, so. Does he get any? Is it is it not not a miswa at all, or is it not? Ju- is it simply not a miswa? Ru'uya, um, it's not, you know, Miswamin Abu Bhar. You could, you could discuss that. In fact, the, the uh, person who edited this, this edition of Yad Rama on Bava Batra, he actually makes that point in, in this footnote here. Um, I just want to check. Then it goes on to say, Rabbi Yoshua ben Lewi Amar, Kol Haragil La Asoth Tadakah, he who is in the habit of giving Tadakah regularly. You will note, I'm sure, that the word regular and the word rogil are essentially the same word. We don't tell anyone that because that would upset certain professors of linguistics. doesn't fit the theory. So a person who's rogil to, to give tzedakah, how we banim ba'alei chokhmah? His reward is to have sons who are ba'alei chokhmah, ba'alei osher, ba'alei agadah, ba'alei chokhmah. 
I'm sorry, Baalei Chochma, Baalei Orsha, Baalei Agadah. Then it goes on to explain these statements. And that's, that's what we find here in the Riyaz. The Riyaz does write this. I'm not surprised that the Riyaz mentions it because most Rishlim don't touch upon this point. But the Riyaz tends not to over, overlook any any small point. He who is always searching out, seeking to do tzedakah, Hashem will help him to find the right kind of person to, to whom he should he can give this tzedakah and receive his just reward for that. And saves him from giving tzedakah to those who are not muhugan. Alright, so that's briefly what I was saying before. We mentioned along the way, um, it came up in the discussion about giving stuff that uh, some, giving, giving stuff that someone is wearing yarmulke or not, or someone who's from the Thomas boat, or not. Is there, is there any less of a mitzvah for somebody to give stuff up to a, a Jew who is actually a real Ani or a Vion, but is not uh, religious? Is there any miswa in, to give sadaqah to an ani who is not religious? No, is there any less of a mitzvah? To than giving it to someone who is religious? Yeah. Blisafek. Blisafek, that's exactly one of the things we, we learned, just learned from this, yes. It's not as if there's any shortage of uh, anashim, anim, uh, muhuganim. There's no shortage of such people. So why, why, would, you, why would you give sadaqah to someone who's clearly less harun than the other person. That makes him less harun uh, because he's not, he's not religious. That's the person is, uh, he's a Tamim person. He wasn't brought up religious. He's suffering. He's that's, uh, I understand that. That's, a, that's, a, tra- that's a, 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 tra- a tragic situation, but it does not change the reality. It doesn't change the fact that this person is uh, this person is Shomir Shabbat. And is called very similar to Torah. This person is not. Those are realities, and they don't disappear because this person, even if you say he's an amasha kathinok shenishba, that doesn't that doesn't make a person who's tinok shenishba doesn't become a yudi kasher. <laughs> he remains tinok uh, shenishba, and he's uh, he's a person who is unfortunately not not in a, a good place. If we can help him arrive at a better place, then certainly we should we should do that. Um, but uh, right now, the person who is clearly mehugan or harun or kasher, whatever term you wish to use, here we have some wine brought to us by the, by our guest here, by our haver Shlomo. <coughs> Baruch Atah Adonai Amahanu Malach Ha'olam Bure Pari Ha'gafan Thank you Rabbi Bar Chaim We would like to encourage our viewers to share these videos with friends and send in your responses We would also like to suggest the following opportunity to our viewers If you identify with Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to sponsor or dedicate a video interview with the rabbi in honor or memory of a loved one. If you would like to obtain Birkon Nusach Eretz Yisrael or invite the rabbi for a speaking engagement, please email us at office at machonchilo.org. If you are inspired by Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to get involved in Torah Eretz Yisrael activities in your local area, please fill out the relevant form by going to the link which appears on the screen. Thank you, Rabbi Bar Chaim. We would like to encourage our viewers to share these videos with friends and send in your responses. We would also like to suggest the following opportunity to our viewers. If you identify with Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to sponsor or dedicate a video interview with the rabbi in honor or memory of a loved one, 
If you would like to obtain Birkon Nusach Eretz Yisrael or invite the rabbi for a speaking engagement, please email us at office at machonchilo.org. If you are inspired by Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to get involved in Torah to Eretzishol activities in your local area, please fill out the relevant form by going to the link which appears on the screen.